the most hardest working eyebrows yep. in the business. I wonder why you're pointing at my forehead. <laughs> I knew a unibrow joke was on the way. It's iconic. It's yeah. iconic. Well, look, two brows, uh, two previous BAFTA nominations. Mm. It's like you planned it. Um, Munya, your documentary is mm. so fantastic. How Thank to you. Survive a Dictator. Um, how important was it for you to show this other side of yourself? Because you're so used to making us laugh. Oh, yeah. And this time you really made us I, well, think mm. and learn, learn about you. Oh, my God. Uh, so important because... You know, Zimbabwe and my childhood in Zimbabwe, it was just unbeatable. Like all of my like extroversion and my sense of adventure, my sense of humor, all of it comes from there. So I, I needed to do a film based on that, you know, about being there. And, you know, we, we got sketches in there. So, you know, explaining colonization via supermarket sweep. <laughs> don't know if that's been done before, I but we did it. I don't think it has. <laughs> but that's the thing, Minya, you bring so much light uh, to everything you do, especially when it is around, like, you know, serious stuff. So I've got to ask you, uh, what is next on the on the skit list? Because, listen, people mm. always say, like, the devil works fast for Minya works yeah. fast. Which my Christian father hates, by the way. <laughs> um, are, you, are you constantly thinking about what's next? All the time. Yeah, um, I, I almost wish Matt Hancock was here so I could just start thinking about a song on the spot. But generally, I'd say I'm living a bit of acting at the moment. Yes. You know, and in the Marvel universe, we don't hear much from five foot seven heroes with massive eyebrows, and I want to see that representation. So Marvel, give me a call. But you haven't got my number, but give me a call. But look, we've already seen you in a few bits and bobs. Yes. Sweet Tooth, mm -hmm. which is fantastic. Yeah. What is your kind of dream role um, as an actor outside of like the Munyaverse? I mean. You know, people are constantly comparing me to The Rock. So I feel like any films about his life, the, the hairline's pretty much there, to be honest. So, I mean. you know what I mean? So yeah, any, anything to do with The Rock or any other sort of six foot sex gods, I think is a good fit. You know, method. Yeah, I'm, I'm here for it. You I'm still. I'm, this is me being The Rock right now. No, I can. I can. You can feel it. I can actually smell what can, The Rock is cooking. Uh, it's too good. How too about good. that? How about that? Um, okay, Munya, who is next on your list to kind of collaborate with? Because you're, you're so oh. cool at like, bringing people in as well. Oh, yeah. To your skits, mm. to your docs. It has to be Nigella. You know, Nigella, Nigella has become one of my top three most popular characters. And I never knew that me talking about buttery flaps on Pancake Day would be a career breakthrough, but it has been. So, Nigella, if you're watching this, it has to happen. Munjella, I think, needs to oh, happen. God, yeah, you know. Let's, you know I mean? let's get you micro RVing together. How oh about my that? Oh, God, yeah. If you can make that happen, free pancakes for life. Thank you. Uh, now, Munya, thank mm. you so very much for joining thank us tonight. Thank you. Thank you for I'm having me. I'm holding your hand, wishing you the best of luck uh, for this evening. And regardless of whatever happens, man, you stay a winner. Come on. Okay, okay. Here we go. Munya. Me versus Munya. David Attenborough. Here we go. <laughs> Squaring up. Obviously, protect David Attenborough at all costs. <laughs>